Yeah, um, long time coming. I know. This episode is very special, though. It's different. Mm-hmm. It's about the meetup we had with Kay. Yeah. Um, yeah, very exciting stuff. Yeah, because that was our first time meeting up with anybody. Yeah, something I never thought that we would do. Um, it never crossed your mind? Um, Not in like a, like, a, not in like a real way. Like, obviously, like, <laughs> like we talked about, like, potential meetups and stuff like that. But, like, I never took it seriously. Like, I was never actually thinking about it in a serious manner. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, At least you're being honest. <laughs> I just never thought it would happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, she flew out here. We all met up. Um yeah, I spent like the whole weekend together mm-hmm. and it was cool. And she's really cool. And, you know, like we all like got along. Yeah. Um, And that, and was... that was important before she ever came out. Yeah. Like we it's not so we can kind of go into how we all met. Yeah. Because um, we met online, obviously. But then we yeah. like established this like relationship before like she even came out here. Yeah. Um, which was super important. And I and we have like. I mean, we're we're lucky in the fact that we have this medium, this like, this this podcast mm-hmm. to like talk to people yeah. in a real way, and that obviously like breaks down walls and makes people more comfortable. And mm-hmm. so we're like fortunate that we like at least have this, you know. And yeah. I feel like that really helped. Like, I don't know what would have happened if we didn't have this. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it would have. It definitely wouldn't have happened the same way. Yeah. You know, I think the, we met her through the podcast, right? Like I met her on Instagram first. Oh, okay. And then I first noticed her cause she sent in a voicemail. Yeah. And so that's how I got introduced to her, but you knew her before that? Uh, no, actually I think, no, I didn't. Well, I'm talking about like, you know, when I first met her, when I first started talking to her, that was on Instagram. Oh. Mm-hmm. that's all i mean i oh, can't okay. remember if it came before or after the voicemail i'm pretty I, actually i think it came after mm-hmm. that's what makes sense to me yeah um or i asked her on instagram if she would be down to like send in a story oh okay i can't remember the order of events um, it's been hey, a while now i know you're listening to this uh, <laughs> let us know <laughs> please get back <laughs> <laughs> um but that was but yeah just establishing a friendship early on was Mm -hmm. super important to everyone feeling comfortable yeah and not something that i it's not something that i feel everybody else looks at and or or i should say like puts as a priority yeah you know Mm because most people when they're talking about meetups it's very just like sex forward like Mm -hmm. i just want to do this thing very transactional yeah yeah but you know i i think making sure that everyone is comfortable and um and the closest you could be to actually being friends yeah before the meetup actually happens is like huge yeah especially you know? in our case because we we're gonna spend so much time together like yeah it was gonna I be wanted, like three days yeah three i wanted whole to make days. sure that like we all liked each other because <laughs> if we didn't super awkward <laughs> Uh, We're just gonna lock you in the closet. Yeah. We'll let you out when we need you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it worked out really well, and I had a really good time. Like, um, like overall, like it was it was fun from like the moment we went to the Taco Bell drive through after the airport <laughs> to, um, like all of it. It was all yeah, and it was good. like it was, um, a little nerve wracking trying to like. Get, take those little baby steps yeah. into it the first Should time. Should we talk about like our play session? Sure. Because, yeah, because I mean, we're all just like chilling in my room, mm-hmm. you know. And like the first night. The first night. And we're just like shooting the shit. And we're just like, you know, yeah. all talking on my bed. 
and obviously she's here for a reason yeah you know uh-huh and that moment just to interrupt you it felt so high school to me it did um yeah. when you like go over to a boy's house and you like sit on their bed because it's like oh this is their <laughs> bed and it just feels like as soon as like i'm on this bed like things are gonna happen yeah and yeah because like i i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i i felt in that moment it was gonna be me initiating it mm -hmm. or it wasn't gonna get initiated I don't think I would have initiated it. Like I felt so out of my element. Like everything was new. Everything yeah. was new. Like it was so crazy. And I was so worried. Like, I don't know, because it was so, it felt so casual and so friendly. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to overstep. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm like, Same. I know, I like, I know this person enough to like be comfortable around them, but I don't want to like, you know, touch her or something and then it's wrong and like i don't know how she feels about no me. for sure and no you're totally right yeah because... and i was like so scared <laughs> no you're exactly right um, <laughs> that and like she was a girl and i'm a girl and it's like it was like so it was just so <laughs> new to me it was because we were because we were on my bed and like i said we were just shooting the shit and it got to a point where i can't remember if one of us like oh we we acknowledged the awkwardness yeah that's what it was uh -huh. and it that was, broke it down a little bit that broke it down a little bit because we're all laying there and then together. finally like like acknowledging it finally like brought every back everybody back into like the reason why we were there yeah you know so in that moment after we acknowledged the awkwardness and how nervous we all mm -hmm. felt that's when i felt it was like appropriate to like ask like oh, can i see yours yeah you know uh -huh. and then she's like sure and so she like laid back lifted up her shirt and then i just started exploring uh -huh. you know and it was so exciting was it yeah because you were watching me do this yeah in the beginning yeah and then kind of like i kind of like looked over at you a couple minutes and i was like hey do you want to <laughs> get in i wasn't sure like do i give him his time like do i join it <laughs> <laughs> are we taking turns is he gonna tag me in <laughs> like what's gonna happen <laughs> i liked watching you play with somebody else's though it was it was exciting was it mm -hmm. and why was it exciting i think it's exciting like the reason why it's exciting to watch porn you're watching other people do something okay and it was exciting because i've only seen you play with mine mm. um i felt the same excitement when i would watch the sydney videos oh. <laughs> like watching <laughs> you do something to somebody else yeah i don't know why it was exciting to me <laughs> god what's wrong with me <laughs> <laughs> it's fine i understand it I'm it leaving. makes sense like i know i know it sounds like taboo in a way or it that's probably the wrong word like for it, but risque yeah you know yeah kinda. i was glad that like you felt comfortable enough to like hop in and like I, and i was curious about you because you've never been in that situation before other than playing with mine yeah like i've never seen you curious to explore somebody else's yeah you know i've heard you verbalize that you find somebody else's attractive yeah but not like oh i want to like explore theirs i want to yeah. like dive in and you know? hers was so different from yours yeah it was um like it's hers is very shallow mm -hmm. um and she was so soft like it was so soft yeah um that's what you get with women yeah <laughs> very soft and not hairy yeah. <laughs> not hairy um but yeah i liked it i it was fun especially because i understand belly buttons more now from like playing with yours so much mm -hmm. like it was fun for me to like find things that she liked you mm -hmm. know and uh kind of explore it like in the same ways that i explore yours but in different ways also because your guys is like it's laid out so differently i don't know yeah no that makes sense it was um yeah did you have a favorite part i like our place yeah my favorite part i liked when both her and i like licked yours at the same time and when you, you and i licked hers at the same time you know, that's so funny i have and then like I liked sucking on hers because I, I could tell she really liked it yeah and that was exciting <laughs> i have I, i'm glad it's funny that you bring that up because i have almost zero recollection of both of you licking mine oh really yeah Mm. But you can confirm? Yeah, I can see it in my mind still. 
Because, <laughs> like, for me, it was such a blur. It was yeah, such a blur. Thing, I was like, the whole thing was pretty much a blur, but those things stood out to me. Because I remember licking hers with you. Yeah. Like, I remember that vividly. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, for sure it happened. Or I just imagined it and I just made something oh, up yay. in my head. <laughs> I'm sitting over here clapping like a little kid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what was what was your favorite? Well, she tied mine out, which I thought was really hot, but I did like licking hers with you. Mm -hmm. That was a first. Mm -hmm. Like just having you there you know at my side like and we're doing like the same thing like pleasing somebody like that was that's really sweet actually. <laughs> having you by my side, having you by my side. <laughs> but you know what i mean Anytime. like it was it was uh it was a dream it was yeah. like i can't believe this is happening right now mm -hmm. you know and yeah they were both enjoying something together that mm -hmm. we talked about and that we wanted and yeah um that being said like how did it feel doing like a belly button meetup for the first time like is it something you ever thought you would do it's something like... that i've always wanted to do mm -hmm. but i never thought would actually happen yeah because you know at the time that i dreamed about things like this happening i didn't have a podcast you know mm -hmm. i maybe had the sydney videos but that was like that's the only way the community would know who i was in any way you mm -hmm. know i feel like it's I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe someone has a different opinion, but I feel like it's harder when you haven't made content before, not posting pictures of your own, not posting videos of your own. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I, I, I feel like I would have had a hard time finding someone who would be up for it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This meet, yeah, this meetup was crazy. I'm super thankful to Kay for even coming out in the first place. Yeah. Like, I mean, the main purpose for her coming out in the first place was to film content yeah. with us. You know, we wanted, um, <laughs> we wanted to be in a position where, you know, we offered a wider variety of models on the page in uh, on our many bids page, mm -hmm. you know, to attract like more people mm -hmm. and, um, also give like you a break and give your belly button a break from all the <laughs> videos you were doing. And, um, we got a little carried away with like our play session yeah, we like forgot the goal. I, I know we were like a little too rough on her belly button. Yeah. Right, like too quick. And uh <laughs> we, we weren't we just, yeah. We weren't able to deck out like 75% of the stuff we wanted to. Yeah. We only filmed two videos and mm -hmm. some cell phone clips. We didn't even film content with you and her. No. Which I'm super bummed about. I know. It's like it didn't even happen. It's all a sham. It's all a lie. Next time, <laughs> I think next time if we get to do this again, we should remember like if if obviously if they're coming out here to like film videos like we need to like remember the videos and like oh, of course yeah we need to like record more stuff because we all we dropped the ball in recording like so many things like there were so many things that happened like nobody got to see yeah and um yeah so maybe next time just like having fun but like remembering that like we still have videos to make and kind of like using our heads more it just it's hard when you're in the moment sometimes yeah. and you're like man this person's enjoying this i know well i'm enjoying yeah. this too. i mean i think it's a good i mean i don't i don't hate that we forgot to film stuff because at the end of the day it was for good reason we like, didn't forget to film stuff we couldn't we, film stuff yeah. yeah well that we didn't like prioritize it yeah but it was because we were having a good time so that's that's okay yeah that's okay in my book um is there anything that you wish would have gone down differently other than like prioritizing the filming um, no no you're happy with the way everything went yeah it went um it went like better than expected mm -hmm. you know it went like perfectly in my opinion yeah um you had a really good time um <laughs> is, there, is there anything that you would uh nothing that comes to mind honestly like um, I, I think all of us were just like a bundle of nerves. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. but then like after that first night, it was like a good, you know, icebreaker. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, so no, I think, 
I guess for me, I just wish I was more like relaxed and not as nervous in the beginning, mm-hmm. but you know, it's all natural. It's, it's all, first time. yeah. It was also our first time incorporating a third. Yeah, because we've something... talked about it before. Yeah, we have talked about wanting to do a threesome. I've like wanted to do one like way before I even met you. Yeah. Like it's just something I always wanted to do. And then, I mean, you like tried to do one mm-hmm. like months ago. Like we tried to like <laughs> make was, the like, efforts the day to meet of, people. Too. Oh, we're talking about her specifically? Yeah. Oh, do you want to like side note into how we got stood up? Oh, but... <laughs> I mean, you were the one who was up. like, you were the one who was talking with her. Yeah, but she was like so I don't passive know, she was just so like in and out like she was she, wishy-washy she was very wishy-washy like she was like we met her on like an app yeah and she was very aware that it was me and Audi bite together on an app like looking for somebody it was like one of those situations mm-hmm. and she lived in the same like town as us kind of literally just like a few blocks up yeah and uh like we were talking for like at least a week you know when we oh yeah it was a couple send, weeks like, for sure videos and pictures and we're in like a group chat like all three of us yeah. and like we're talking and um she was like it was one of those situations where she was like really down to meet up but then it got too real and then like she had an ex- like an excuse yeah because like it was like the day like it. the day of we were gonna get dinner yeah and we weren't sure i wore jeans <laughs> I wore uncomfortable pants to go eat. We, like we weren't sure if that was the night that something was gonna go yeah, down. Yeah, but we just wanted to meet her. It's kind of like how we approached it with Kay. It's like we just want to like establish something. Establish. Like I don't. Yeah, we just wanted to go to dinner and like meet her. Yeah. And like she, we wanted her to meet us and like us to like become friends first before anything happened. Yeah. And so we were gonna go to this spot um, that's like down the street from like both of our homes i guess and like on the way it was oh yeah we had left yeah we had left because we had like plans of a of a place and a time that we were gonna go and then she just got really really quiet and um like meaning that she didn't i think we texted her texting. and we then, text her a little bit before we had left and, and we're then like she hey, finally we're responded on like we were we on the just, drive there yeah and then she was like oh she's like i actually like met, met this guy, guy and last night chance. and i really like him i want to give him a chance and it's like that's fine but like can you say something because you agreed to go to dinner with us and now we're like on the way i it was fine because i was with you and like we ended up just having like dinner together and it was yeah. fine and it was a restaurant that we like anyway but it like if i would have been by myself that would have been so sad <laughs> and that happens to tons of people yeah. like that's a common like dating app story <laughs> But oh. and she was open to belly button play too. Yeah, she yeah. was down. Yeah, she was totally down. You asked down. if she wanted to like film. I did. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, I wasn't gonna let that opportunity go to waste. No, it was like I'm not making fun. It of was you. like I've already, I've already like opened up in that way. It's like why not ask? Because yeah. it was and you don't know her. Because like at the like, time we were talking about like filming with other people yeah you know? we, we were just getting started in all of this yeah like we had filmed my wax play video at that time so you had like just gotten that big scab on your belly button from like getting burned mm-hmm. yeah and i had my broken foot <laughs> i was gonna go meet her on a peg leg yeah <laughs> yeah when we started making these videos guys i didn't i, I only had one foot yeah <laughs> um <laughs> uh oh my god we got off track um so all in all how did it feel incorporating a third this time around since it was something that we had hopes and dreams of i mean would you call this a threesome no it's like a half threesome it's a half yeah the halfer? we didn't have sex we just like did like foreplay type stuff i guess i mean do you count that as yeah we didn't have intercourse yeah you know um yeah, I think I was through some then. There was three of us engaging in sexual activity. <laughs> and and what's funny is like, at least me, I didn't plan on that happening. Yeah. I think it's, um, you know, I'm not going to lie that like, I knew that what we were doing in terms of belly button play was a turn on for all of us. So I can yeah. only assume it will naturally head that direction. Yeah. You know, but it would... I don't know. It wasn't, 
it wasn't anything I was prioritizing. Yeah. It was just something I was open to doing if things felt right mm -hmm. in the moment, you know? Yeah. So, no, it was like, it was fun trying to navigate that with you and like trying to mm -hmm. give attention to two different people and make sure everybody felt included and, and, and paid attention to and, you know, mm -hmm. that was important to me like because yeah. obviously you and i are doing our own thing in life and here we yeah. are bringing in this other person it's like i don't want to end this experience and then have you walk away from it feeling like damn like he didn't pay attention to me for one fucking second you mm -hmm. know that's the last thing i want yeah so and that was the opposite you made me feel so good okay good you really did um <laughs> I felt very special and very wanted and very taken care of the entire time. Okay, good. Um, like the biggest thing I got from this whole experience is like feeling like, like so much closer to you. Like mm -hmm. I feel like it really like catapulted like, like the, the closeness I feel for you. I don't know how to <laughs> word it, but I just feel so much closer to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was really good for us. Like, that's how I yeah. feel. It was a really good experience to have with you, and I feel like it brought us closer. No, I totally agree with you. And I, and and likewise, or I should say, in addition to all that, I also am surprised at how, like, the same I feel. Yeah. Like, you know? it made me like you more. Like, I, I, I think it, it strengthened you. our relationship, but I thought that I would feel like a different person at the end of, of like a threesome experience. How so a different person? Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just like thought that I would. Different in a bad way or different in a good way? Different in a good way. Oh, okay. I would feel, I felt like there would be like a confidence boost and, yeah. you know, things like that. But I feel, I feel exactly the same. <laughs> aside, again, aside from like being closer to you, like. I feel the same way. I feel exactly the same, but I feel closer to you yeah yeah well like that was a big bonding experience um and something i would totally do again <laughs> i thought it was great i think we handled it really well so the videos we filmed for mm -hmm. her uh or for i mean we we filmed one for ourselves and we filmed one for her and her page that mm -hmm. she just got started um if you guys want to find k on many vids it's button cutie three and we ended up making a solo play video with her um where it was like oil play and like deep fingering and using like a pencil with those like really fat erasers on the end um and that's her video that she ended up taking with her that she's gonna sell um and we ended up doing for ourselves a hot wax video where i poured hot wax on her and then rubbed her down with some ice mm -hmm. and then did like a little bit of deep fingering at the end there. But that was a fun video too. I actually like took her mold and like made somewhat of like a silicone copy of it. Yeah, it was cool. It's, I don't know what, like 60%, 70% of like a full belly button mm -hmm. almost like it's missing her piercing, Yeah, you know, but, um, I was surprised that we were actually able to pull that from like the wax that we kept from the play <laughs> session. I didn't even mean to keep it. I just put it off to the side because like I was cleaning up yeah. and I just moved it all over to like yeah. my desk where I, I wasn't touching that area for a while. And I saw it the other day and I was like, Oh, I you got just the, have a piece of it now. I got the silicone out. Why not try to do this? <laughs> That's um, so funny. Have you ever uh, played with someone's belly button that had a belly button piercing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had an ex who, had a belly button piercing. Sydney had a belly button piercing. Hmm. She didn't. I, I remember she um, put in a ring like later in our relationship. Like I remember her like just getting curious and like putting it in and, and her hole wasn't closed yet. Mm. But she wasn't wearing a ring for like a, like years. Mm. But it was still open. Um, and yeah, so I had two exes and... Yeah, I think I've maybe played with like three that were pierced, I would hmm. say. Oh, okay. I don't prefer it at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, the, the, the filming part was really fun. You were behind the scenes. I was like, behind the scenes. Like 
how was that like watching it all happen from behind the camera it was cool yeah um it was cool watching it was cool watching it all happen i liked it like on the sidelines i was getting it was like a totally different perspective right like... yeah i liked watching it from an outsider's perspective like watching it happen because mm -hmm. it's like a little production mm -hmm. you know with the cameras and the lights and the like the way you plan out the shots and everything like that like you have a very artistic mind with it mm -hmm. and so getting to see it without because normally like i see it but i'm also taking direction from you and like i'm in that kind of headspace but i just got to like relax and like just kind of observe it all happen and so that was really fun yeah you flatter me by saying i had a plan planned you, you shots do. Kind <sighs> of. no you have ideas in the moment yeah, but you still think of things. You you still you still, you still have thoughts. You still have thoughts. You still. But no, I mean with with you know K stuff. Sometimes you'll be like, "Oh, we should do this. It would be crazy." Yeah, like sometimes like, I have like a really sexy shot in mind yeah. that I build the whole video around. Sometimes yeah. you know, for hers, I don't. I mean, for the wax one, maybe uh -huh. I, I think I had like that visual in mind. I think it's the what I used for the screenshot, like the thumbnail, uh -huh. where it's like the camera is like above her crotch, like looking up her body. Yeah, like I love that angle, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and but yeah, I think that that video in and of itself only had like two or three shots, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, when I was like moving the camera around for her like self like solo play video, no plan. Just like the light was moving in the room because the sun was going oh, down, yeah. and I'm like, "Oh man, we got to move here, 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 here." The flow. It was still fun yeah. to watch the process. Yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that she was just like so chill and and down to do all this in the first place, and yeah, like took the time to freaking fly literally across the country to do this with us. Mm -hmm. Um, no, but I'm just like glad we made a friend in the process, and I yeah. I'm excited to see like what you know we we all do in the future so uh, yeah well i think we should wrap it up i think that sounds good <laughs> this was good before <laughs> we make it too much longer all right guys well thanks for tuning in yeah thank you see ya bye